Still dealing with the loss of her mother, one woman travels to a secluded beach to find comfort. But when she hits the water, she's attacked by this great white shark, and it leaves her injured, and she's stranded from the shore. Movie okay. review, Sam Hallenbach has an inside look at the movie The Shallows. Ah, serenity now. Oh, I mean, isn't that what Seinfeld's Frank Costanza used to say? In this case, it seems like an apropos statement. Learning to be self-reliant takes time and hard work. On vacation in a tropical oasis, medical student Nancy Adams has visions of sand between her toes and a roaring wave beneath her board. The curls are big and so is something else that's lurking just beneath the surface. Any one of us could use a bit more than we have. If you're not self-reliant, you'll never do any more than just get by. Blake Lively stars in The Shallows, the latest great white shark attack film to land in the wake of Jaws over four decades ago. She, of lengthy leg and lots of hair, spent lots of time pruned and pounded in the surf on the Australian coast while making the film. And she got cozy with a couple of, as it turns out, not so wicked great whites while doing background research. Now you may think that's the end of the story. Actually, it's only the beginning. Now, you went actually diving with real great whites, didn't you? I did. I went diving with great whites four years before doing this movie. I went with conservationists, which was so special because you got to go and you got to see them in their habitat as they actually are. You just you just witness them with no movie, scary movie scores, no narrative, just witnessing these creatures be the majestic creatures that they are. And it was, it was like witnessing dolphins. I mean, they were playing around. They were interacting. They were engaging. They were jumping out. And I actually took a picture of, of the shark uh, breaching. And it was such a cool moment. It came out and it sort of opened its mouth. And, and when I showed people the picture, they said, that's such a scary photo because, because of the narrative that we have of them. But in the moment, it wasn't scary. It was just him almost like he was smiling, you know? Sam Hallenbeck, Channel 4, the local station. Kind of like a 